Hello Nigeria, hello Africa. You're watching Plus TV Africa and the program is Sports Business with Urufuo Ezaga. Today we have another interesting edition for you. We're going to be talking about Nigeria's most successful sport, would you believe it? And it is in football. The sport in which Nigeria has consistently produced some of the best players in the world and in which we have also produced a world champion. All right, today, joining us from the United States will be Mr. Wellington Jigere, who was the, 19, the 2015 world, World's Scrabble champion. And uh, joining us from Abuja would be Mr. Toke Aka, who is the president of the Nigerian Scrabble Federation. So there you have it. Um, we're talking about Scrabble, ladies and gen uh, viewers. Nigeria has consistently performed, you know, um, at the very height of the global game when, it's co when it comes to Scrabble. In Africa, we are completely dominant. Uh, currently, we have the African champions, the Wafu champions, we have a World Cup champion, a new event that was recently introduced, and Mr. Jigere himself was beat the entire field in 2015 to become the, the, you know, the first black person, the first African to win the World Scrabble championship. So the question is, if we are so su successful in Scrabble, why don't we know it? Why don't we know that we're the very best country in the world when it comes to Scrabble? A lot of people are still surprised when they find out that we're the top ranked nation in the world. But we are. In the top 50 of the world, there are at least 10 Nigerian players in the top 50. And that in the top 15, you have at least five Nigerians in the top 15. So that is the way, um, that's how successful this country has been in the sport of Scrabble. Now, I think that there's a lot of stuff we can learn from why Scrabble has be been so successful in this country, why we have been so successful globally when it comes to Scrabble. Sports can, other sports can learn from this and hopefully adopt, you know, these practices, um, these ideas or the insights from this in their own sports in trying to become a lot more competitive on the global stage. All right, so I'm going to give you um, a minute to take a short break. We're going to go on a short break, you know, so that you can really prepare yourself, you know, loosen up a bit, invite a friend or two to join you in the conversation, and also give my, friend, my guest some little time to, to settle in. Um, when we return, I'm going to have Mr. Wellington Jigere joining us and then Mr. Toke Aka. So take a minute and we'll be back. When we return, the business begins. You're welcome back to Plus TV Africa. And the program is Sports Business with Urufo Ezaga. Today we're going to be talking about Scrabble. And when it comes to Scrabble, Nigeria is the winning, is the spot for us that is the winningest spot, let's say. You know, it's the spot where Nigeria, Nigeria completely, you know, can be relied on to perform uh, time and again. We already have produced the world champion. We have produced several African champions, several Wafu Cup champions. And today joining us on this program will be Mr. Wellington Jigere, who is the very first African, the very first black person to win the World Scrabble Championships. Mr. Jigere joins us from the United States of America. Hello, Wellington, how are you? I'm happy to be here with you, sir. <laughs> okay. It's been a long time, you know. Um, I've followed you in, in recent time. I've seen that you, you, you have been uh, participating in different tournaments in the United States. Um, so tell us, uh, what has the experience been like um, in the States? Uh, well, my experience has been, uh, has been very, very wonderful in the States here. And uh, I first came here last year for the World Championship. Mm. And uh, we had a couple of uh, high-profile tournaments lined up uh, in the last couple of uh, weeks. And uh, so I thought to come in and uh, uh, rep uh, Niger uh, once again. And uh, it has been a very, very fruitful uh, endeavor so mm. far. Okay, so um, just recently, uh, was it last week or, or two weeks ago, uh, Mr. Aita Karo, who, who is 
the defending champion, if, if I'm right, of the Wafu Cup, won the World Cup um, Scrabble Championships. You, you know, so what was that tournament about? Was it the same as the tournament that you won in 2015? Um, no, not exactly. The, the World Cup, W-O-R-D Cup, is uh, actually an initiative uh, uh, com uh, uh, brought about by uh, what we call the Collins Coalition. Mm. So you see, in uh, in the United States over here, they use what we call the NWL Word Source, mm. which is their lexicon for adjudicating their tournaments. And but then there is also uh, an increasingly uh, an increasing number of people who would rather play the the lexicon that is being used by the rest of the world, which is the Collins Scrabble Word List. Okay. So we have a situation whereby uh, there's an increasing number of people who want to play the, uh, the, uh, what the rest of the world is playing, and then that is what's best said, what we now know as the Collins Coalition in the okay. United States here. Okay. So the, the Scrabble World Cup is an event that was uh, put together by the Collins Coalition to uh, give a world-class tournament that uh, where the lexicon to be used in participating in uh, Featuring would be the calling Scrabble words. Okay. So that is uh, how the, uh, the, the World Cup came about. Then it is different from the World Championship in that in the World Championship, you have a situation whereby each country has a quota to be filled and everybody is, 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 is by country representation, whereas the World Cup is, uh, is just anyone who could uh, pay their way and is eligible to part, uh, participate, participating. So that is just the uh, subtle differences. But in terms of the strength of the field and the strength of uh, uh, the players participating, I can assure you that it is no, it is no soft game. And uh, the feat that was uh, pulled by our own Eta Carol is uh, by no means anything uh, less than uh, what others have achieved in the past. So it, uh, is, it was a really, really sterling performance from him, especially since he more or less dominated the field from almost uh, the beginning of the tournament to the very end. So that is just, uh, there you have it, basically. He defeated you as well, did he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I managed to finish in a second position at the end yeah. of the day. And uh, yeah, I, I met him twice in the course of the tournament and he floored me on uh, both occasions effortlessly. Oh, okay. And you see, you know, when I looked at the list of, of um, participants, and, and their final positions. It was, Nigerians were, I mean, everywhere, you know. Uh, a Nigerian won the, the main category and the Division B, another Nigerian won the Division B. You know, if Scrabble is this popular, why is it not such, why is it not such a, a well, I was going to say, why is it not such a big deal? I mean, but what I would say instead is, why is it not such a, why is it not a bigger deal than it is um, today? In Nigeria, that's um, well. We all know how how the uh, sports generally is in Nigeria, and uh, there is this popular saying in Nigeria that there there is uh, there is just one sports football, and then there are the other non sports, which is non football. Mm. So basically, in Nigeria, we have a situation whereby any sports that isn't football uh, hardly receives the kind of uh, traction and uh, attention that it needs to try. So that is uh, basically one of the major reasons that I think uh, 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 is affecting uh, Scrabble's growth. Mm. But then, if you also look at it, uh, Scrabble is a relatively young sport. That is also another uh, critical factor. Okay. In fact, as we speak, there are uh, many who would uh, argue that uh, Scrabble uh, cannot be considered an actual sport. Okay. And uh, they, they have whatever reasons that they give. But those of us who are who, who know enough would uh, uh, will tell you that uh, the, if you talk in terms of the amount of effort and preparation that it takes to do well and uh, maintain consistency at the top level of Scrabble, it is by all means uh, a bona fide sport. Uh, this is a sport, as you know, that I also play, and I can back you one hundred percent in what you have just said. Um, the fact that Scrabble is not about 
whether you have a PhD or whether you have um, um, a professor or chair, it, does, it doesn't matter whether you, are, you, are, you, you speak the best English, you know. Um, Scrabble is a game that requires you to know certain words. Some of them are not Eng even English words. Uh, so you need strategy, you need um, good tactics, tactics and all of that. But basically, do you feel like Scrabble is... The, the Nigerian sports industry, for instance, is beginning to wake up. I, I hear you when you say that people don't take sports seriously in Nigeria, and I totally agree with you. But the local sports industry seems to be waking up again. All right? Do you think that um, maybe this is, a, this is an opportunity for a game like Scrabble to, to begin to you know, get into the conversation of, every, of, of Nigerians? Yeah, I would, uh, I would very much like for Scrabble to get more in the conversation because uh, I think in the past we have, uh, we have done our own little bit and I must really uh, use this opportunity to thank the, the media for, for giving us the sort of attention that they have been able to give us in the past. And uh, I'm really, really grateful to the media. Without uh, the amount of uh, love that the media, the Nigerian media has shown us and even the uh, global media, we wouldn't have been where we are currently. Uh, but like, like it is said, uh, we still have a lot of room to grow. Mm. And we are, still, uh, we are still a relatively young spot. And uh, hopefully, in the years to come, we would, uh, we would uh, achieve the necessary level of support that is required to propel uh, a young spot as ours to mm. its zenith. But when it comes to the raw potential of uh, being a, a national sport, I can assure you that Nigeria has all what it takes. Mm. We not only have the, uh, my crop of players, uh, those around my age grade who have uh, who, who built on the, on, the, uh, on the games that the past generation uh, uh, garnered and to get us where we are now. We also have a lot of young stars uh, uh, that are more than ready and hungry to, to, to carry the torch. Uh, as we speak, the current uh, African Scrabble champion is a young, young star from uh, Unilag who is, uh, mo uh, who is still an undergraduate. Mm. Not only that, we have the current uh, West African champion who is also uh, a young star from uh, Unilag. So that is just okay. to tell you how, how, how the young, younger generation is is uh, is uh, is proliferating in this sport. So there is a lot of potential in Scrabble. There is a lot of potential in we continually dominating world Scrabble in the years to come. So there's a lot to begin from uh, supporting Scrabble and uh, getting more Scrabble activities out there. See, Wellington, I was going to hold this question for later. Um, oh, but okay. no, the question I'm about to ask now, I was going to hold it for later. Okay. But what you have said has generally um, prompted me to move in a different direction. And this is the fact that Scrabble has consistently been a top spot with Nigerians. We have consistently excelled in Scrabble. Not now, not just now, from you know, way back you know, in, the, in, the, in the early 2000s and even before. So tell me, what do you think is the trick behind playing Scrabble in Nigeria, and then without having to travel to America or to Europe or anywhere else in the world to develop yourself, you can get on the world stage and win a world championship. Okay, I think one of the major things that is uh, working for Nigeria as, uh, as it relates to uh, dominance in Scrabble is the uh, sheer number of uh, uh, people who play Scrabble in Nigeria professionally. Mm. You see, uh, Nigeria is one of the few nations where uh, the sport of Scrabble is actually recognized as a mainstream sport. Mm. You have a situation whereby uh, we even have the uh, Scrabble featuring in the Nigerian Sports Festival for almost two decades now. And that has actually uh, uh, been a very major boost for us. Mm. So you have a situation whereby uh, some people who would otherwise be jobless and uh, unemployed are taking upon Scrabble as a means of employment. Yeah. The pay might not be very uh, up there, but at least it gets a lot of people by. 
There mm. are programmed athletes in so many states of the federation. There are coaches, there are youth coaches, there are secretaries, there are all kinds of scrapbook has been able to provide uh, basic employment for so many people all over the nation. Mm. So when you look at the how deep scrabble goes into uh, its grassroots, it is one of the major factors that has uh, accounted for our dominance. And you now have a situation whereby someone who is being paid to play scrabble, imagine someone who he states is putting on its payroll to, 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 to represent them at a uh, championships more or less that person does scrabble uh, professionally so and the person is uh, required to make the necessary inputs to stay at the top of his game and that is what uh, that is the kind of situation and kind of commitment you have from so many persons in nigeria and that alone is uh, one of the major factors that has led to nigeria's dominance in the world then another key factor that has led to our dominance is our unique style of play you see, uh, uh, one of the things that is unique to Nigerian Scrabble is is uh, how how malleable our style of play is, and how that we can uh, uh, naturally uh, uh, grind through relatively difficult board situations. And whereas uh, a lot of top players from uh, other parts of the world can uh, more or less uh, flourish in an, uh, in an open board. But uh, in the case of uh, Nigerian Scrabble, you have players who can, can, can do well, whether the board is closed, whether the board is open, technically sound players all around. And that is, uh, so basically, I think uh, uh, the, the, the sport stru sporting structure that I've explained earlier on yeah. and uh, uh, how technically sound our players are, I think those are the major factors. That has accounted for our dominance in World Scrabble. I think that, okay, so because I play a bit of Scrabble, Wellington, is it a bit of Scrabble I play even? Me, me, you know me ah. too. In my small club that I play, you know that I'm the goat of that club. Do you understand? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So, <laughs> but, but, I'm the club. <laughs> yes. You know, but, but here's the thing, yeah. There are two, the, the two things that you have, you have talked about. Well, and they're two, they're two critical things. And I think this is what I want the other sports in Nigeria to, to learn from. You know, I tell people that when a national, a national Scrabble competition is being played, the quality of the field is as good as the quality of the field anywhere in the world. So you can learn, you can play at the very highest level, you can play at the very, very highest levels in Nigeria, you know, without having to leave Nigeria and you, you go out of Nigeria and become a world champion, which is, for instance, not the case with football or, or any other sport. You play to a little degree in Nigeria and you have to leave to go and become a, a, a better player. That's number one. Number two, there's a Nigerian identity to the scrabble that we play, right? Meaning that, for instance, in football speak, Wellington, please correct me if I'm wrong. If we were... If this was football, Nigeria would be known a bit like the Italians are known. You know, um, the Italians That's are totally a, correct. They are a very defensive team. You, it's very difficult for you to be. They say football is a game that two people um, play, and in the end, the Italian wins. They defend. It's very difficult to score against them and all of that, and, and they can score against you. And that's what Nigerians do when it comes to Scrabble. We, we can make it very difficult for you to play. And then in the end, we, we scrap to like a two or three point lead uh, a victory or something. Well, what, what do you think? Do you think, um, do you th do you think that's true? Or, uh, you know, there's something uh, else? It, I, I think it is true to an extent. Yeah. Uh, because uh, basically, the, the, the reason I say it, that it is true to an extent is that Scrabble is a very dynamic game. Mm. And you have a situation whereby when the game goes uh, tight and rugged and all that, mm. it is only players who have had a sufficient technical uh, foundation that can actually navigate their way through those times. Players, players whereby, who can grind. Yes, who can grind through those times. Yeah. yeah. So uh naturally nigerians are grinders mm. we grind to survive not just <laughs> to play scrabble yeah. yeah so we have a situation whereby we are we we have uh we have 
more or less every player who played Scrabble from Nigeria mm. has, uh, whether he likes it or not, acquired this ability to grind through these times. Mm. But it so happens that at the very top level in the world, you now have to acquire some other characteristics to add to this ability to grind. Yeah. It is these added uh, advantages that when fused with these grits mm. that comes with grinding, that is what more or less uh, 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 accounts for how how we can we have been able to remain at the top of World Scrabble for so long. The other critical factor is the sheer number of good players that yeah. Nigeria have. Mm. In most part of the world, the US, for example, uh, not uh, excluded, you have a situation whereby you have a couple of very good players, as in ex players who are who can score excellence if uh, graded on Scrabble. Yeah. Then you have a, a huge lacuna between that uh, class of very good players and you now have uh, a lot of average players who play Scrabble for fun, who play Scrabble for relaxation, who mm. see it as a way of vacationing after, uh, uh, after a long uh, couple of weeks or months of working and all that. Mm. But in Nigeria, the case is different. In Nigeria, you have a situation where you have the very good players, a whole lot of them, then you have like a hundred good players who can actually strive with these very good players. Then you now have a whole lot of under category of uh, semi good players before you now get to the average players who yeah. are a whole lot also. Yeah. So that is where you, you that is the uh, situation where you have in Nigeria. So when we storm an international event, for example, yeah. you have a situation whereby. Any class of Nigeria you meet is is is, is is going to be a tough match for you. Yeah, you are not going to uh, meet someone at the back tables and then you are going to be hoping that this was this is going to be an easy victory. You are mm. still going to have to grind through. So that is what uh, one of some of the characteristics that has uh, made our Scrabble what it is. But when you say uh, uh, Scrabble, Nigerian Scrabble is uh, can be. Uh, uh, given an analogy of the Italian football, I think you are correct. Mm. But in the in the grand scheme of things, in terms of dominance in at the very top level in the world, uh, uh, most of the players who have been able to uh, achieve that have uh, been able to are uh, those who have uh, been able to acquire some of these extra bits oh. to add to the game. Uh, okay, uh, so there is. Um there's a tr there's a trend. I'm not I'm not too sure whether I'm right. So you have to speak to that. Of of seeing players from a from Delta State, for instance, um, excel in Scrabble. You know, we produced a lot of champions. You are one of them as well. You know, and having grown up in the, in in Sapley, in Delta State, I can tell you that if if you if you get if you go into in Sapley, for instance, you find people playing Scrabble. Um, not because of the, the, the position of, the, of they are in their education, not their educational status. People just play it because they love the game. Some, some are not even good educationally, but, um, academically, sorry. But, you know, they are excellent Scrabble players. What do you think is, is responsible for that? Do you, do you have any, is, is there anything you guys say in the Scrabble community that's, uh, that's the reason why? Uh, well, uh, basically, I think uh, for, for lack of a better word, I would say the high rate of employment is actually an added uh, uh, advantage when it comes to... Employment or underemployment? Uh, or unemployment? Unemployment, yeah. I, I meant to say. Okay. So when you have a situation whereby uh, uh, a lot of our youths are maybe uh, relatively underemployed, it, mm. it gives us a lot of time to, at our disposal. And most of the times, you have a situation whereby we can put that time to meaningful use. And mm. Scrabble is one of such uh, activities that we can put that time into. We mm. also have chairs. Mm. And so you have a situation whereby in Delta, for example, mm. I think another critical factor that accounts for a whole lot of uh, good players coming from Delta, but I, I would also say that that was uh, relatively in the not so distant uh, past, yeah. because currently the number one Scrabble playing state in the nation is Lagos. Lagos, yeah. uh, Lagos has uh, more or less taken over from uh, Delta, and uh, they are really, really uh, achieving a lot of strides, especially with their younger 
players. Yeah. But uh, coming back to why Delta, Delta was um, at the top for so long, you have a situation whereby a lot of the good players, a lot of the very good players were residents in Delta. Yeah. And uh, Scrabble is such a game that, uh, like I uh, pointed some time back, a, uh, we are still a, a growing sport, and uh, basically some of the technicalities and uh, theory of the game is not in, in the mainstream media, or it's not, uh, it's not easy to lay one's hands on. Mm. So most of the times, you have to learn from the, 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 the top players themselves, and there's no way you can learn from them by, uh, by watching, by just by watching. You have to play them. Mm. And since most of them were residents in Delta back then, yeah. it made it uh, easier for people who were aspiring champions to do so just by rubbing shoulders with these people. Okay, and so I, I could also, one could also argue that one of the major reasons that has uh, made uh, Lagos State, for example, to be climb to the number one status in terms of uh, uh, Scrabble play uh, recently was still uh, uh, basically the, the, the exodus of many of uh, the top Scrabble playing uh, gurus mm. in, uh, in, in the south-south to play to the west. Mm. Because uh, recently, you have a where by most of the top uh, 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 Scrabble uh, competitions have been held in Lagos. In the West. And people generally gravitate towards where things are happening. Yeah. So uh, more or less, things are happening more for Scrabble in the West now. Mm. And everybody is going there. So you, you, you now have a situation whereby if you need tough players to, to, to spar with or to train with for an upcoming championship, mm. the odds are that you find more of them in the in West Lagos. than yeah. anywhere else. Yeah. And in the relative uh, uh, short, the relatively uh, uh, short past, we had a situation whereby uh, the South-South was that hall. Mm. Especially with a situation whereby we had the Godfield Aquabio Championship during the time that uh, uh, our governor. benefactor, Godfield Aquabio, was the governor of Aquabio State. So people were joining to the South-South to, to participate in scrabble activities, to train for scrabble activities. But right now, the situation has reversed and we have uh, the West dominating Scrabble right now. Okay. Um, Wellington, it's been a brilliant time with you. Um, we're going to go on a short break. And when we return, what we're going to be talking about will be the business side of things because this is, this is sports business after all. How do we make Scrabble... Um, how do we turn Scrabble into a lucrative sport? Is there any do we have opportunities to do that? Do we have um, uh, ideas that um, are already in the works, either here or overseas? Because globally, the game is suffering uh, in terms of commerce. How do we make it a bigger commercial success? When we return, we're going to be speaking with uh, the 2015 World Scrabble Champion, Mr. Wellington Jigere. Don't go away. Hello, you're welcome back to the program Sports Business with Orufo Izaga. You're watching Plus TV Africa and we're reaching you live from our studios in Victoria Island, Lagos. We've been speaking with Mr. Wellington Jigere, the 2015 World Scrabble Champion, about Scrabble and um, Nigeria's, you know, amazing success in, in this sport. Now, we're going to be talking about, we're going to try and find out from Mr. Jigere, who is in the United States um, and who has had a huge um, um, well of experience, a deep well of experience in, in Scrabble as a sport, to try and see what, how we can turn sports into more of a commercial success. Because right now, playing, playing um, Scrabble isn't, isn't something that, that um, most people will tell you can pay the bills. Uh, so, Wellington, how are you? I'm very fine, sir. Okay, so, Wellington, tell me, how, how do we turn Scrabble into you know, um, a, a, a commercial success such that players um, can, you know, can live well off playing, playing, playing the sport? Well, uh, from, my, from my point of view, I think the, is, 
The answer is easy. Uh, basically, uh, sports thrives on uh, sponsorship and uh, 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 branding of its uh, champions. So it gives uh, people something to look forward to. Take, for example, the, the highest paying uh, Scrabble tournament in Nigeria uh, for a particular, for, for every given year, uh, for a couple of years now, has uh, it hasn't exceeded uh, what uh, maybe a million naira, and we don't have many of those. So, if you have a situation whereby the uh, the situation was different, whereby maybe the highest paying uh, championship was in the neighborhood of uh, five ten million naira, and you have like a couple of those in any given calendar year, you cannot have a situation whereby someone who is uh, trying to book professional in Scrabble can have a target that, okay, let me see if I can put my ass in order and uh, do well in uh, one or two of these championships. Not necessarily a margin champion. If I can a match champion, fine. But if not, we have a situation whereby we could uh, 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 realistically strive to be in a top so, 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 and so bracket, and that would uh, give me this and xyz amount of income so it's a realistic projection but in the situation where we have right now it is not realistic because you you can actually do well and still struggle financially i've uh, had uh, uh, a personal experience in that and uh, it is not it's not that easy to uh, becoming a professional in scrabble so that is one uh, angle another angle that uh, uh, scrabble can become more lucrative to to its uh, professional players is the uh, angle of uh, uh, brand representation and uh, sports uh, uh, ambassadorial uh, roles. So you have a situation whereby uh, most of the top brands in Nigeria, uh, they usually uh, favor uh, what we call uh, uh, the, uh, mostly, mostly comedians and uh, people in showbiz and all that yeah. for, for uh, as uh, ambassadors for their brands. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, Scrabble, as we all know, is not as uh, showmanly mm. as, uh, as, uh, as, uh, as uh, some of these people desire. And we don't attract the level of uh, followership that uh, most of these uh, mainstream uh, brands uh, won't uh, think they desire. So mm. it's uh, more or less we have a situation whereby for those of us who are able to attract a few uh, sponsorship here and there, it is more or less on the CSRO side of things, mm. and it shouldn't. It shouldn't be that mm. every, every mainstream sport cannot try on that. Mm. So if you have a situation whereby, uh, let's say, the current African champion who is an under, undergraduate has like uh, uh, a situation whereby he's been, uh, he he's one of the brand ambassadors for Glow, for example, mm. it gives uh, a, a realistic target for those who are coming up to work harder mm. to say that, okay, if I can win the next African uh, championship, mm. I could possibly become a global ambassador also. Mm. And you know how these things work. The, once these monies start coming, in, it has a way of trickling down to the, the all through everyone. So we, uh, I think that is one key area that we, that would actually uh, help uh, turn Scrabble into a more profitable spot. Mm. And, uh, uh, I'm still, uh, I've actually been uh, uh, exploring this area for a, a, a long time and uh, there hasn't really been uh, much success uh, over the years. Okay. See, look, you were, the, you were the world champion, right? And when you won the world championship, there was a lot of buzz, you know, that the Nigerian had conquered the field um, globally. Did you get any sort of... Um, endorsement brand endorsement or because because there was noise there was there was a buzz and and it's a good thing because scrabble is something it's a sport that you can almost link with with um, um, academic success yeah. or something that should drive academic inspiration you know so I, i'm a bit surprised that um, you know uh, you guys don't get a bit more from brands that are in, interested in, you know, trying to inspire our young to be more academically focused, or you know, so did you yeah. get any 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 such interest endorsements? Yeah. 
well, uh, basically, to answer your question, the the the, uh, the response is zero. So we wow. didn't uh, we didn't have uh, any such uh, endorsements. We didn't have any such uh, overtures. We actually made a lot of efforts. I I I can remember signing up with one or two uh, sports uh, sporting agencies and yeah. uh, people who a lot of effort was actually done. And uh, but it so happens that. Uh, uh, but I think one of the major uh, uh, factors that uh, accounted for our relatively uh, slow success in that was because we were more or less breaking new grounds. Yeah. Uh, you had a situation whereby uh, there were instructions in place to, to make this uh, possible. And I think uh, because of the work, some of the work that we were able to do back then, it is, uh, if we can build on such uh, efforts. We, uh, I think uh, we can be breaking ground in that respect soon enough. But in terms of what it was back then and what we have currently, we don't we don't have that yet. And uh, it's, it would actually be uh, quite uh, interesting if we could uh, break ground in that respect. Yeah. Okay. So again, let me go back to a point that you made earlier, and that is the fact that one, the champions are not well paid, and by the way, that this is a problem across all sports in Nigeria, yeah? The champions are not well paid because people, organizers probably don't understand that sports business is all about the players, all about the stars. It is the stars that the fans follow. And it is the fans that the advertisers and sponsors follow. So if you don't have the right players, or you know, players that inspire young people or people in society to want to be like them, if you don't have those sort of players that you know, inspire aspiration of, uh, of interest, and you don't have, then you wouldn't have fans following the stars. And if they're not following the stars, they're not following your sport. If they're not following the stars, they're not following your sport, the, the sponsors are not following you. So yes, we need to create stars. And then secondly, you talked about the regularity of competition. There's not enough money that's paid out as prize money, and there's no regular competition. So you earn one million today, you wait another five, six months to have a chance, another shot at such a paltry sum. All right, so yeah, uh, there's, there's, but this is not a problem. There seems to be a Nigerian problem. Scrabble is suffering, struggling across the world. What do you think? Uh, basically, uh, I wanted, like you pointed out a while ago, uh, we. I wanted to quickly add that there's a difference between uh, a champion and a star. Mm. Yeah, it takes followership to make a champion a star. It mm. takes concerted efforts, and uh, it so happens that we haven't been able to have that with Scrabble yet. Mm. The effort is being made, and we are doing the best that we can. But mm. I think we still have to double down on the efforts. We still have to really, really uh, do that. So when we get to a situation whereby we can actually have our champions achieving stardom, yeah, that is what inspires followership. Yeah. And most of the times, because of how uh, Nigeria is nowadays, uh, followership is uh, is uh, has uh, more or less been reduced to, uh, uh, for lack of a better word, pecuniary uh, uh, measures. Yeah. So if 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 someone is uh, is is an acclaimed champion, for example, and an acclaimed star, mm. and he you can he can't show you where he packed his uh, his G wagon or yeah, his uh, yeah. or his uh, his <laughs> Range Rover know. or whatever, yeah. and you, you see him trekking up and down, for example. Yeah, he 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 doesn't have the the enablement to to evoke uh, the kind of uh, followership that is more or less. Mm required to uh, uh, attract these uh, top brands. So you, you, you really cannot uh, blame these uh, top brands, for example, because uh, they have to get something from the, the, the arrangements. They can't just throw money at, at nothing. Yeah. So we still, we still have to put a lot of effort into building our, 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 our champions and into turning them from not just champions into stars. By the time we have a system whereby our champions emerge as stars, become they achieve stardom, not uh, just by winning championships, but by their comportment, by a whole, it's, it's a whole, it's a whole uh, tough process. Some of us have uh, put some effort into uh, uh, into uh, that, but 
it's still we still just haven't broken ground yet. And think and this is where uh, we we really need some kind of push from, especially from lovers of the game and people the the, the well-to-do people who follow the game. Uh, so if that doesn't happen, it's uh, I'm sorry, uh, Scrabble cannot be a lucrative business anytime in the future. That's that's very excellently put, and I quite like the, the distinction you 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 drew you you drew you know by saying that uh, being a champion doesn't make you a star you know you, you can be a champion and um, to become a star is a totally different uh, conversation now part of what would in today's world part of what would create stars right is social media uh, that's the technology through which today you can you can you can go you can go to bed a non entity and in the very following day, by some 30-minute post you make, you become a global star. I don't see anything happening well in him, from the Scrabble community on, on social media. I don't see any champions that are talking about um, anything to do with Scrabble. I don't see any Scrabble tricks, for instance, where champions do create several words anagrams from, from, from words that, you know, uh, that create the, the, the wow factor um, um, in, in the public. You know, so even the Scrabble community is not marketing itself well. You know, Scrabble organizers need to wake up and do more. So tell me, what do you think? Am I, am I wrong in saying that? Because, by the way, I also find that Scrabble, the Scrabble communities are highly emotionally involved communities. Yet, yeah. We don't see that, you know, that translates translate to a wider audience, you know. And to do that, you have to get out of your comfort zone and reach out to people with maybe Scrabble tricks and Scrabble facts and Scrabble, you know, tidbits that, that mm -hmm. will grab their attention. Well, uh, basically, uh, uh, the, the thing with uh, one of the major things that is uh, plaguing Scrabble administration, not just in Nigeria, but the entire world, is that you have people who who administer and manage Scrabble developments mm. who are more or less doing it part-time. Mm. It, is, it, is it is not easy to see someone who does Scrabble promotion or Scrabble administration full-time. And that is, where see, that is the one distinctive factor. When you do something part-time, you, you can't expect the 100% uh, effort. Yeah. And when that 100% effort is not there, it, uh, you can only have a, a half-hearted uh, outcomes. Yeah. That is just the gospel truth. Yeah. So until we have such a time where the people who actually are taxed with promoting Scrabble are those who have an actual stake in its development. People who, for example, rely on the outcome of this promotion to, for example, any living. Oh, who okay. Do it full time. So, so, so that is not the federation, for instance. Uh, well, the, because the federation the cannot is, rely. I, I don't think officials of yeah. the federation, for for instance, would rely on Scrabble for a living. Yeah. Yeah, they can't. They can't. They can't do that. And yeah. it, you know how difficult it is to 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 even make ends meet in Nigeria nowadays. Mm. So it's not it's not it's not an easy thing. So it's it's a multifaceted issue and. Mm. Uh, I must also add that our champions have still not helped uh, matters over the years. Uh, we have people uh, like uh, myself in the in the relative past who we are more or less uh, JJCs on the on the on the <laughs> on the on the, uh, <laughs> the media space. So we you people are nerds now, did... sir. I say you people are nerds. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're more or less net. We You have a situation whereby you can actually even have it, find it difficult to even get uh, a Scrabble champion to grant you an interview. Mm. So most of the times you have a situation whereby our story is not being told the way we want it to be told. Most of us focus on play, and that is something that has to change. We have to be more media friendly. We have to do a whole lot more. Mm. But all these uh, factors, because most of the times, when you pay too much attention to, to these other uh, fringe uh, aspects of the game, mm. it actually affects your level of play. Mm. Those who are doubling down efforts on practicing and all that, uh, you find yourself in the situation whereby your form drops and all that. So if you really must maintain some level of consistency, it takes, it takes, it sometimes requires 
pulling out from that. So we we'll have a situation whereby uh, our stars or our champions are not uh, media friendly. Enough. They don't have the right structures yeah. to plug into to 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 make them trust stars. Okay, okay, well into. So I think one, one critical area that would actually help to remedy this is yeah. actually identifying with mainstream sports promotion uh, uh, outfits yeah. that could now, more or less, uh, the business of promoting Scrabble can more or less now be outsourced. So you have a situation whereby if a star can afford to have a team responsible for its media projection, its uh, media uh, interaction, it, it will go a long way. But you have to say, I don't think for now, we, we, we are looking in that direction. So we have to look in that direction. We have to make these efforts and in order to be able to break grounds in this uh, and make Scrabble a lucrative industry. That's a bit like what Lukman, um, what's, what's his surname now? Mind Luke, Luke Games. Lukman Yeah, that's a bit yeah. like what Lukman Owolabi has been, been doing with Scrabble in recent years. Uh, we wish him all the success. Yeah. Now, now, we must really give him a lot of kudos for, what, for the work he has what done. What he has done, yeah. yeah. A uh, whole lot of other persons who have uh, also put a lot of effort. Yeah. We must also uh, 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 give them kudos for the effort that they have done. Okay. I mentioned uh, our current uh, Senate president, who was an avid lover of the game so many years back. Does he still support and, uh, the game? Ah, uh, it's difficult for me to answer. Maybe our president, uh, Mr. Tokiaka, who was supposed to join us, would have yeah, been in yeah, a better he, position he, to answer he, that. He was unfortunately then that unable comes to, to mind. Tokiaka has also been a very huge blessing to the Scrabble uh, community. So the, for now, we have a situation whereby everybody who is uh, doing one thing or the other for the Scrabble community is doing it out of self-sacrifice. Mm. So we have to trans. We have to transform from that level into a situation whereby you could actually get something by by helping to promote Scrabble. I think until we get to that point, it will uh, will still will still continue struggling. Okay. By the way, Mr. Um, Toke Aka uh, sent his apologies. Um, he was caught in the Abuja, you know, all of the commotion in Abuja right now, and um, so he was unable to make the program. Uh, he was supposed to join us via Zoom. And you need to be settled in a comfortable place to, to be able to do that. All right. So on a final note, Wellington, we need, we need to bring this home now. Very quickly, what do you think Scrabble needs to do to become a mass audience, real-time sport? Because that's where the money is. You want to be able to get 100 million people or 10 million people watching a game of two people playing on a board on television or your mobile devices, right? How do you think Scrabble is going to do this? Is this something that you guys are, are, are discussing or you're trying to um, innovate around? Yeah, a lot of effort is being put into televising Scrabble and making Scrabble viewer friendly and, mm -hmm. and all that. Uh, I think uh, the effort is still being increased and uh, one of the things I'm focusing on uh, while in the States here mm -hmm. is to kind of a break into that uh, aspect myself. Mm. But I think we still, uh, another critical area that we still we must pay much attention to is in uh, promoting and uh, making our stars presentable. Mm. So we, we, we have to do that. We just, because every sport is driven by its stars. Yeah. There are people who don't know anything about football, but they've heard of the name Messi. Mm. They know of Ronaldo. Mm. That people, Ronaldo has uh, the highest number of followership in the world today. You can't tell me that everybody who follows Ronaldo follows football. football yeah. Some of them don't even know jack about football. Yeah. So you have to have stars. You have to have a star that people can rally around. You have yeah. to, whether you like the person or not, you have to sometimes drop whatever your feelings are about the person and rally around the person. Because knowing, because you have you just have to recognize that if this person shines and shines and shines, this sport which you love would have no option but to gravitate and uh, 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 attract some of these uh, uh, free benefits of the of the stardom. So yeah. we have to invest in our stars. We, we, we must do that. Then okay. we must have people who are more or less willing to give of their time. Even if it is not going to yield 
much uh, uh, remuneration in the interim and hope that things would turn out for the better in the future. And then, of course, we must also uh, uh, find a way of attracting the goodwill of, uh, of, uh, of the corporate entity, of the corporate world. Because uh, most of it, we can't rely on this alone without uh, having people who are willing to take a chance on us, who are willing to take a bet on okay. us. All right, all right, Wellington. It's been, it's been absolutely brilliant having you on the program today. Um, this is going to be an ongoing discussion. There's um, so much to, to talk about. Uh, it's, it's a rolling wave, really. Uh, so much to talk about in, in um, Scrabble, in tennis, in football, in basketball, in volleyball. There's so many sports with huge potential um, to become lucrative, lucrative industries in Nigeria. And I think that what we do on this program is try to you know, drive the conversation around sports as, as a huge opportunity for any country. Thank you very much, Wellington, for making this. And I'm, I'm sure we're going to inv invite you again in the future to talk some more about Scrabble. And if anybody's watching us now on this program that knows the game of Scrabble, even if, if you don't know it, if a Nigerian is a world champion of a, of a sport, at least one brand, one brand at least in this country should have said, you know, behold, champion of the world. All right? Nice having you, Wellington. Thank you very much, sir. It was nice being here. Good. And so, ladies and um, viewers, until we meet again next week, yeah, um, you can engage with me at Uru4 on, on Twitter or at um, Kenneth Uru4 Ezaga on Facebook and Instagram. Until we meet again, this is me saying be productive, be good, and stay safe. <laughs>